Good morning, it's time for our maths lesson and today we're going to be starting a new topic. We're going to be looking at all about 2D shapes. So we're going to start really nice and simple and ease you in gently. Here we have a collection of shapes. Elliot has put the five shapes into two groups. Group one, group two. What can you say about the shapes in each group? Okay, hopefully, let me just get back to that page. Hopefully, he'd identified the fact that he'd placed this type of shape together and this type of shape together. And what we're going to do is going to look at what these shapes have in common and what the names of these shapes are. I think some of you will probably already be shouting and screaming out the names at the camera. Shape one. How many sides does this shape have? So I can clearly see one, two, and three. Shape two looked like this, didn't it? That was in here. And it had lots of things the same about this shape. I can see it has one, two, three, sides and that's because they are both triangles and all triangles have three sides in fact the word try there means three this is square i'm sure we can all identify a square already it has four sides a square is very special because you'll notice something about those sides the length is all the same. Here is a rectangle. How many sides does that rectangle have? That's right, it also has one, two, three, four. It has four sides. All rectangles have four sides. So, all I would like you to do today for your guided practice is to identify which of these shapes are a triangle, which ones are a square, and which ones are rectangles. And you just simply need to then record the number of sides that they have. I've put those spellings there to help you. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to pause the recording now and work through the guided practice. Okay, you should all have your answers by now. So shape A, has four sides and they are all the same length. So that tells me it's a very special type of rectangle. It is in fact a square, okay? Don't be confused by the fact that the shape is on an angle. It is still a square. And we can very clearly see one, two, three, four, four sides. Shape B also has one, two, three, four sides. Two of those sides, though, are longer and two are shorter. That makes this a rectangle. Shape C has four sides. Some of the lengths are short, two lengths, sorry, are shorter than the other two lengths. So it tells me it's not a square. So I can see the four sides. The name of this shape is a rectangle. And again, they try to confuse you just by putting it on an angle. It is still a rectangle. Shape D has one, two, three sides. And if you remember, we said any three-sided shape is a triangle. Shape E also has three sides, which means even though it looks different to D, it is also a triangle. And shape F, one, two, three sides. I'm sure you're shouting this out at the screen already. It is a triangle. Okay, for the second part of your guided practice today, I just want you to add up how many sides each shape has. Okay, so again, pause. Take a moment to add those sides up and then continue to play the clip. 
So shape F, one, two, three, four, four sides. Shape G, one, two, three, four, four sides. H, one, two, three, four, four sides. D, one, two, three, four, four sides. Ah, shape J looks a little bit different. One, two, three, four, five. Shape J had five sides. And K, one, two, three, four, back to a four-sided shape again. So all of these shapes, excluding J, are what we call a quadrilateral. Okay, quad means four. So these are shapes with four sides, quadrilaterals. Now here it's telling you what page you need to do in your workbook. So it's worksheet one. And it is on page 43 and 44. And it looks like this. Okay. So do not be confused by the fact that it tilted the shapes around. Okay. You simply need to name the shape and you need to say how many sides it has. If you need to, you could click back and pop the spellings up from the previous page to help you. Once you've done that, there is a second page, very faded on mine, where again you are simply counting the number of sides on each shape. Today, because it's nice and straightforward, I would like to ask you to pause the video, go through your worksheet, complete it, and then I'm going to work through the solutions with you. Okay, so you should have completed your worksheet now. So shape A, I can very clearly see has four sides. Two are longer, two are shorter. That must mean it's a rectangle. And of course, that has four sides. This three-sided shape must be a triangle. This has four sides. Mm, they're not all the same length, so I'm going to say it's a rectangle. Here I can see three sides, so it's definitely a triangle. Now this one confuses people sometimes, which is why I wanted to go through the answers today. One, two, three, four sides, and they're all, if you look carefully, the same length. Now, I know some people might think this is a diamond, but it is, in fact, just a square. All they have done is rotate the square around. Can you see the square? And we know that has four equal sides. On worksheet part two, I can see one, two, three, four sides in that shape. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four or five. Here we have one, two, three, four. Can you remember what we said? All four sided shapes were called. They are quadrilaterals. And finally, we have a one, two, three, four, five, six sided shape. Hope you enjoyed that and we'll tune in for some more maths tomorrow. Goodbye.